So my name is Tammy McNabb. I'm the host of Health and Wellness TV, which is on Joy TV Channel 10. And I also have my own show called healthradio.fm. And you can hear me on Apple TV, um, on Health Radio, on TuneIn. We have about a quarter of a million listeners around the world and 4.5 million viewers across Canada. And I've always been interested in health and wellness. I used to, um, I was the first to bring the low carb, I call it the glycemic diet to Canada about 12 years ago and I had stores across Canada, which I sold successfully and gave my mom back her original investment. Right, mom? <laughs> Debt free. And um, so I've been always interested in health. I have a family full of diabetics. That's hot, eh? Woo. I thought I was having a hot flash for a second. Uh, my family, diabetics, to the point of amputation of, of limbs. So I'm very aware of what I put in my body. I like sugar. I like foods that are good for me. But I find that if I can sort of incorporate something good in my diet on a daily basis, I now have a trainer I started working out with last week. See the muscles? She's killing me. She's like this built buff lady. And I, get, I don't even talk to her because I'm so angry. It's one of the swim moms. I'm so angry that I'm working out because I don't like to. And I like to eat. So Jackie, um, being my best friend, is on stage because being best friends for many, many years, I won't tell you how many because then you'll know how old I am, and you, um, we've been friends forever and I think that we're such good friends because we're exact opposite. So I love talking, you know, weddings, funerals, microphones, I'm there with the microphone and I'm talking. Jackie is happy to be in the background, right? That's right. But now she's on stage with me and she hates cooking. She's never cooked me a meal in her entire life. I don't hate cooking, I just, you know, prefer to go Let out. me cook, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I forgot in the back is my recipe cards. Remember I said the brown bag maybe I put them there okay so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do two uh, menu items for you we're gonna use quinoa you've all heard about quinoa it's great for you it's a it's a seed grain it's high in protein um, it has lots of health benefits so I'm gonna use that product today and I'm gonna make a salad out of it I'm gonna put all kinds of great things in it kale and different um, what's in this one this is the athletes mix clearly I shouldn't be eating this one kale and kidney beans and all kinds of stuff. We're gonna put nuts in it as well. And then I'm gonna make you an amazing cookie. You can see over there, I cooked 50 of those last night. I burnt my second batch, was really ticked off. Stayed up till like 11, did batch number two. That is a quinoa flour. I also use regular flour as well. Um, my recipes will be posted on our different websites later on. But quinoa flour, it has goji berry. Have you heard of goji berry? Gives you stamina stamina. Um, also maca root. Have you heard of maca root? It's related to the radish family. Peruvian warriors used to take it before they went into battle and I feel that being married and having kids I go to battle every single day so a tablespoon of that inside your shake is great. So I've used that inside the cookies as well. And um, yeah, I just need Jackie to come back with my recipe cards. I had a dream last night that I lost my recipe book. Here I am with no recipe book. Did you find it, Jackie? Here we go. We're gonna start. We'll start with the cookies. Um, why don't I start making the cookies, and you can go throw on a pair of gloves and hand some out to the audience so they can taste it as we're making it? Would be great. Okay. Uh, there's no nuts in the cookies. I use sun nut butter. Having a, a eight and nine year old, actually nine and ten now. I can't give them peanut butter sandwiches anymore when they go to school. And it's a drag because that was my sort of go-to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They loved it, so they can't have it anymore. So what I use now is a product called Sun Butter. And it's a sunflower seed ground and it tastes exactly like peanut butter. So we're gonna use that. Isn't it funny when you don't have your notes, you feel like, oh my God, my notes. But I made like 70 of these last night, so no problem. Okay, so we're gonna take two cups, sorry, one cup of the Sun Nut Butter, and I'm going to eyeball that into here. I'm using a crunchy version, 
You'll see in front of us we have a bunch of goodie bags. I have 25 swag bags. We're going to hand out to some of you lucky ladies in the audience. Some of them contain uh, jars of the sun nut butter. So two, do you taste the nuts? And it tastes like peanut butter, right? But it's not. So I'm putting in two cups of the sun nut butter. You can put in peanut butter. You can use almond butter. The butter is acting as a, a binder in your, in your cookie. So two cups of, or one cup of that. We're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. I use organic dark brown sugar. If you smell it, you can really smell the molasses in it. It makes for a much better cookie. So we'll do one cup of that. If you could feel how hot it was up here. The plus I, up there. Plus, I know, they're already hot. <laughs> plus I'm having a hot flash or perimenopausal hot flash. It's just like, I'm cursed, right mom? Just like you, cursed. Okay, so a cup of this. I'll blend that together. I like to get the sugar in with something wet immediately because it's a very, it's a strong crystal. It's hard to break down. Even the cookies, when you taste it, keep a bit of a crunch in there maybe. That would be some of the sugar in there as well. So we'll mix that in and then put that aside. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna eyeball everything. I'm gonna use, who uses coconut oil in their cooking? It's a great product, right? So I'm gonna use coconut oil, I'm gonna use flax oil because they gave us all of these presents, so I made sure I incorporated them inside of the dish as well. I'm using goji berry and I'm using dates. Goji berry, have you ever eaten goji berry? It's very strong. Who hasn't tried it? Okay, so I want you to come up for one second. Just grab a couple of these and you'll taste it and you'll be like, oh, it's not, it's not sweet. Trust my hands are clean, right? Okay. Okay. It's not sweet. It's very hard. You oh. should hydrate them if you're cooking like in a, a cereal. So what I do is in this recipe, it's a quarter cup of goji berry. They're very expensive as well. Goji berries come from the Himalayan mountains. They are good for regulating your blood sugar, high in vitamin C. Um, they are a great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So this bag would be about 15 bucks worth of goji berry. So I've done a, a quarter of a cup of the goji berry and I'm going to, for sweetness, add about nine dates. Do you like date squares? I love date squares. Do you remember your favorites? Right, it's good stuff, right? I, I use dates in my morning shakes, which you're a big shake person, right? It's a great way of sweetening your, your um, drinks and your food naturally. So I'm gonna do nine of those in there. I'm going to add two eggs. These eggs come from my chickens. I have very pretty black polka dot chickens, which my mom thinks is really weird because I'm a city girl, but I have four acres and now I have chickens. So two eggs. We'll get our oils in here as well. We're gonna do a quarter cup of flax oil and we're gonna do a quarter cup of the um, coconut oil. We have to warm it up to get it in here. You know that's not a third of a cup. But it looks, I figure I already made the cookies, it doesn't matter anyways. Okay, and we'll do, is there a microwave here? There isn't, okay. So what I'm gonna do is just melt quickly a third of a cup of the oil. Let's just pretend that I've already melted it because you're not gonna be eating these cookies anyways. Melted, there we go. Jackie. What did you do? Oh, I got Okay, so we're gonna, the most important thing though when you do this is don't blend it for more than like literally two seconds. You're trying to break up the dates and the goji a little bit, but the goji will completely disappear if you do it for more than a couple of seconds. So literally just a couple of seconds. Good enough. So Jackie, you're gonna mix this up for me if you don't mind. You're gonna add these two. Make sure you scrape all the stuff that's in there out. You mix them together. Who's doing the dishes after? I guess I am. Wasn't well, that what moms are supposed to do? I your mom's here. I know, I'd do it for my kid. Oh. Dishwasher. Okay, so we've got the wet ingredients together. Now we're gonna add the dry. You're gonna be adding 
quinoa flour. You're going to be adding maca, which in the gift basket down here, like this is about, about 30 bucks. We use a tablespoon a day. Again, more than enough. You would start with like maybe a teaspoon, build it up to about a, a, a full tablespoon a day. And in that gift bag down here, we have a container of it to give away as well. Okay. Yes, the maca root, you bet. That gives you, it uh, boosts your libido, mom. What's that? I do, yeah. I put it in my shake every morning. Yeah, it's got a really, come and smell it for a sec. It's got a really nice, like a nutty flavor. It's like you've roasted nuts. Oh, that's nice. Right, it's nice. It's part of the radish family. So I put that in my shake every day. It's good to give to kids as well. It's good for them. So we're gonna be doing, you ready? We'll do a quarter cup of the maca root. We're not gonna stir anything until the very end. Quarter cup of maca root. We're gonna do one cup of quinoa flour. If you're gluten intolerant, celiac, gluten allergy, go ahead and add two cups of quinoa flour. And we're gonna add a cup of regular flour. There it is right in front of me. This is also, the maca root's really great for, I don't know, half of you are, have nothing to worry about, you're in your 20s and 30s. The other half of us, 40s and 50s, you'll like, I've been in, on stage and I've started my demonstration and then I've looked at Jackie going, I totally forgot what I have to say next. So that's part of, I think, you have a, you start to have memory loss when you're perimenopausal, menopausal in your 40s plus. Part of that's hydration, you should always stay hydrated. The other part is what supplements can you take that are natural to put back into your body to help you with that. And to me, I feel like, so to my doctor, I said, I think I'm getting Alzheimer's. She's like, no, you're just getting old. I'm like, no, I think I have Alzheimer's. So anyways, having maca and the goji berry is really, really good as well. That'll help you. So we're gonna do one cup of this, Jackie. We're going to add one quarter cup of applesauce. Seen these? You know, these are like 99 cents, or even at Costco, they're, I don't know, like 50 cents each. And if you go to health food stores, they have like the pre-runners pack. It's pureed fruit. So I buy baby food, and my kids think it's weird, but they like it. So this is just applesauce. So it's a quarter cup of applesauce in there. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla. Good so far? Right. Did you, did, fantastic. Did you try the cookies? I did, they're really good. Those they are, are the very cookies good. so far. Aren't they fantastic? Hey, let's, let's give some prizes away. Cause we, I said to everyone, I bribed a lot of you, if you get here quick, this lady gave me a napkin, I said, I'm gonna give you a bag, I know. So this front row here, everyone gets a bag. Now in the bag, it's almost a value of $100. You have, um, what's one of my favorite things? The uh, red reishi mushroom. You have a 30 day or a 20 day sample of those. They're about $3 per supplement. They come from Japan. It's a, a great um, way to support your immune system. Not that one, Jackie, not that one. That one's like, that's a big prize. Um, Red Rishi is great for you. We have stuff from Nature's Path in there. We have a bottle of the flax oil. We have the sun butter, all kinds of great stuff. So after this row is taken care of, we have about another 10 to give away. We also have the gift baskets. And then besides you guys, everyone behind you, we'll give you guys bottles of the uh, flax oil as well. Okay, so we have all of these ingredients. I'm going to also add, you can add raisins. I'm adding a quarter cup of cranberries. I love dry cranberries. So we'll add that. And we'll add some, a tablespoon of baking soda. And then Jackie's gonna start putting them on the baking pan and getting them in the oven, because we've already preheated the oven, right? We didn't. See, we forget. She's supposed to remember that. I can't remember everything. Okay, and the last but not least, chocolate chips, one cup. I think everyone needs to have chocolate. Chocolate's good for you, right Jackie? Oh, I love chocolate. I know, okay, so you stir those up, yep. And then you're gonna put about a tablespoon on the cookie sheets, but don't worry, because they won't be baked, because we didn't preheat the oven anyways. So it doesn't even matter. So I'll give you these here. Okay, so this, bag here. I'm really clumsy, like I really shouldn't be wearing high heels. This bag here, 
I told you about the red reishi mushrooms, but you guys all have a sample inside the bag. They've given us a 30 day supply. It's about $70. And they've given us, I know this is about 100 bucks. It's pure collagen. And so, if, besides you guys, if somebody is wearing red underwear, stand up. Anybody else wearing red underwear? You are too? Oh, you changed them, darn it. You have to show me. You are, look at, she's like, you're not wearing any, you get, listen, you get a bottle of oil for that. There you go, there you go, yay. No undies. Well, there you go, red underwear. You got pink? I'll call pink next. Congratulations, you. there you go. Purple. Yay, purple rules. Okay, beige, the beige is boring. Boring, right? So Jackie, you can just, um, you're gonna wanna, these do not move. You know the cookies that you sort of put on and they don't move from that shape? So just like a peanut butter cookie, use a fork. I don't know if we have a fork, maybe over there. Push them down, doesn't matter, we're not gonna cook them anyway, it's just, yeah, right? Okay, so that's the cookies. You guys, has everyone tried one? Yeah. Pretty much, just a couple extra if anybody wants any. So again, the goji berry, the goji berry and the maca and the um, protein from the quinoa are great for your menstrual cycle, they're great for your libido, for energy. <laughs> I'm exhausted, even saying libido is exhausting, <laughs> libido. Um, it's great for, for when you have your cramps, your back pains as well, so there's a lot of good things in it, but what I've made is great for kids as well. I have two young athletes, uh, if you have a teenager, <laughs> it'll make her less bitchy. No, um, so give her, <laughs> just kidding. Um, you can give her one of those on her way out. It would be considered truly a breakfast type of a bar as well. So I trick my kids and they're like, is there sugar in it? I'm like, yeah, is there chocolate? Yeah, and all the other stuff in there is, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna do a quinoa salad. Now I have promised this company, it's run by a woman. I like supporting women in business. She has this company called Cookin' Greens. You'll find this in health food stores. It's already washed, it's frozen. Washed and packaged and this one has pre-washed, chopped, frozen quinoa and red pepper and legumes. So we're just gonna heat this up. When you do your quinoa, have you ever cooked with quinoa? Just like rice. So I've done two cups of quinoa, four cups of rice, less about a quarter of a cup. I like, I don't like my rice or my quinoa mushy, so I just do less, and I've added some bouillon to it as well, a vegetable bouillon. And know that if the, if the quinoa package says cook for about seven minutes, if you add salt or if you add bouillon or flavoring, add another three minutes or so onto the cook time. So when you lift it up, it should be a little bit wet, but not so wet once it's cooked after about seven to 10 minutes. Put the lid back on, five minutes, and you're ready to go. Have you ever had quinoa before? No, hey? My mom is the most boring eater in the whole world, because of my dad though, right? Dad is a meat and potatoes, boring guy. Well, who, who's had quinoa here? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad, right? So what I like, you can have the salad, put it in the fridge, gets nice and cold, but I love warm. You're so cute. You are really cute. Do you want to come and get a bottle of oil for your mom? With the, with the, are you wearing no underwear you said? Oh yeah, you can get one too. See, now you've stood up, I can't say no. Yeah, yeah, you too. No, no, she can stand up, come on. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay, don't drop it. There you go, honey. So I like to have my quinoa salad warm, um, but of course, go ahead and put it in the fridge if you want it cold as well. I cook enough so that I can eat it for a couple of days afterwards as well. So I would do a couple of cups of chopped kale. Um, all my stuff is over here, Jackie. Where's my camera guy? Talking to a girl, camera guy. Can you see me from over here or should I be over there? This is gonna go on Joy TV. But can you, can you, see, you see me here though too, right? Or is here better? What's better? Were you hitting on that girl over there? Cause I'm gonna tell your wife. Were you? 
Uh, look at him. He looks tough. Men look guilty all the time, right? Guilty, guilty. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to get you to stir up, yeah, up that. Once that's done, Jackie, throw it in. I'm going to do the vinaigrette. Does anyone have one of these at home? It's very fancy. So what you do, cut your lime, wash the skin, because you never know who touched it. Put it in face down, and it takes all the seeds and the pulp and just gives you your juice. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I love that. I'm going to have to get one of those. It's great for margaritas. So I'm going to use two limes. You can use lemon as well. And I'm going to use the flax oil. And I'm going to... Do you, do you want to put a little bit of flax in there, do you think? Is it totally dry? You can use a little bit of flax. Okay. There's an olive oil there if you want. Or the flax. This particular flax oil, a league of flax oil, is my favorite. Um, it's a great company. It's a, it's a local Canadian company. Their product comes out of uh, central Canada. They are one of the only flax companies that, did you get some? That they do a cold pressed process that allows you to cook at high temperatures. Many oils, if you cook above a certain temperature, forget about it smoking, it turns into a carcinogenic causes cancer. So you have to really be sure of what oils you're using. So this one is my favorite, Aliga. And we're going to give, okay, who is um, not married? <laughs> Holy smokes, that takes care of all the oil. Okay, um, who is not married with a kid? <laughs> So funny. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say you and you come on up and did you put your hand up too? Yeah, sure, come on. So Liga Flax oil, if you use a tablespoon a day in a shake, which is great, um, consume it every day. It's great because it, uh, if you're diabetic, if you're diabetic, it's great. It uh, contains all of your omegas as well. So as a woman having flax, it's a fantastic thing. What's my next question gonna be? This is a great group. You're fun. Did I give you one yet? I just did, yeah, okay. See, it's that 40 something thing. Can I just talk to you? My husband, 40 something thing. Oh, just wait, you just wait. You're cute now. Just wait till you're my age. You're in trouble. My husband, but my husband's like, he gets mad at me. I'm like, do you actually think that I'm, like I forget things on purpose? Like he makes me feel like, well, you're just, you, like, we just talked about it. I'm like, okay, but it wasn't like I wasn't listening. Okay, are you ready? Just yeah, so go ahead and throw that in. So if you have cooked with kale, good for you. I put kale in my smoothies every day. The biggest thing with kale is make sure that you just take the center vein out. That's the really hard part. Pull the leaves off. We've chopped it up. This is all chopped up. We'll give that uh, a stir. You can actually do these next if you want. If you can pick maybe. So these are scallions. Use as many as you want. You can wash those off. Pull the icky ones off. And there's some basil as well, Jack. Ginger in there. I love using the big fat elephant garlic because it's just it's way easier, right? It's one of those. Okay, next question. Who, uh, who is here with their mom? Don't lie. That's one. Okay. You guys got one? Yeah, no? Okay, so I'm going to give one to you. I'm going to give... Over here, can you see the scale? Oh, I didn't see her. So one, two, three. I'll catch you next time. Four or five. I'll get you next. So you five ladies, come on up. Grab a bottle. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. How many bags do we have left down there? A few, right? Okay, so who had purple underwear on? Come on. Three women have purple underwear on? Oh, trust me, they're going to show me. Okay, so you and the purple stand up. So there's no men here, so who cares? If there are men here, well, are there men in the audience? Well, that's good. Well, I'm going to give you one for sure just for coming to the show. Let me see your underwear. That counts, yep. Yeah. 
did dad want to come? He didn't want to come, did he? Probably did. He, well, my dad. No, your dad. He's been dead for like 20 years. Your dad. Okay, who else had purple? Me, yeah. Really? I do, because I don't believe you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Say, who's wearing purple underwear? Say me. Me! Purple underwear. Okay, three more bags. That's amazing. No underwear is a good color. <laughs> Don't listen to her. I'm surprised you're single with that attitude, let me tell you. You're very picky. You should be. Yes. I always say don't settle for anything. Like, I think that I have a pretty good husband. It's like babysitting, though, half the time, but whatever. There we go. Do you have purple underwear? I'm going to tell everybody on the swim team that you wear purple underwear. Not that I swim, but there you go. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Back to the vinaigrette. We're going to chop up the garlic, and I don't have my press, so very carefully, I'm not wearing my glasses, we'll chop up some garlic. Can we throw this in the bowl now? Alana? Alana, that's your daughter's favorite. There you go. Yeah, throw those in there. Okay, so a little bit of garlic. We're going to grate up some ginger, Jack. You want to do the garlic or the ginger like you did last time? I really wish I had my press, but oh well. Garlic is so good for you. It's a great anti-inflammatory. Who feels in the aging process? I mean, of course, you know, you, you feel your body sort of gets tighter, and if you're not exercising, even more so. But who feels their hips sore? Anybody? You're too young. Are you scared? For real? Yeah. Look at it. What kind of job do you have? Deliver mail? You're awesome. That is totally awesome. Yeah, you know, hips for me, I um, had a huge problem getting pregnant. And when I was seeing, went to the children's hospital, the women's hospital, and I finally got pregnant. And then I sold that company I was telling you about, did really well, and five weeks after giving birth, I got pregnant again. And I remember uh, my mom's like, because I, you know, women were following me on various diets and how do you lose weight and what do you do? So I had about a thousand women following my how to lose weight after you have a baby. And I was stalling and I couldn't figure out why I was, like I was eating very healthy. There was no harm to my son. My mom's like, well, what if you're pregnant? I'm like, I'm not pregnant. She's like, well, just get a pregnancy test. So I said, well, don't tell my husband I'm doing a pregnancy test with you before I'm doing it with him, obviously. And, um, and I was pregnant and it was, of course, ultimately I was happy, but having a ten and a half month old as I'm giving birth to my daughter really, really took a toll. And I um, also had a C-section, so my doctor was very scared for me, for my, I wasn't even repairing yet. I still had stitches. It was, oh my God. Don't have sex after you have a baby. It's just not worth it, honestly. Sex ed here. Honestly, you can't. And I was like, I was breastfeeding and all those great things. You're just going to take this. I've already washed these. Roll it up like you would like a cigar, and then chop it up that way. And we'll throw that into the salad as well. The salad's looking amazing. It's going to be very good. So, anyways, moral of the story is blah 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 blah. I got pregnant, but what happened though? Being pregnant for two years, I had the hormone that was loosening my hips for two years, and there are days where, you know, I eat well, I, t I, I have foods that are, you know, great for, be for anti the, the anti-inflammatory aspect, but I still hurt a lot. So um, whoever hasn't had kids yet, don't have sex after you have a child for like a year. It's a moral story. <laughs> or whatever. Or do. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use uh, four ounces of feta cheese. I brought my feta cheese from Palm Market. Your bags are from Palm Market. They supply all the food that I use at my different shows. Um, but the gentleman down this row, have you, have you tried his feta cheese? It's goat and sheep feta. Fantastic. Oh, it's, from, it's right from Greece. He's Italian. It is probably the best feta cheese that I've ever tasted. I'm gonna get uh, you. Want to try? Yeah, try a piece. There you go. 
It is so delicious. Everything's better with feta. Right? Everything's better with feta. So we're going to crumple up four ounces into that. And I'm just going to let the vinaigrette sit for a few minutes there. I'm going to add the flax oil and olive oil. You know what? We should just do two containers of feta. Why not? We'll be serving this to you guys afterwards. Do you guys like feta cheese? I love cheese. A lot. Has anyone ever been to Greece? Isn't that the best place in the whole world? I swore that I was in the get. When I got married, I would be in Santorini on my honeymoon, but I wasn't. I went to Mexico. OK. What's that? Yeah, it's the best place in the whole world. Okay, here we go. Big chunks of cheese, that's in. You're gonna throw in the basil. The last thing we're gonna put in there is some apple um, and some walnut. I put in apple because it makes those who sort of put their nose up to quinoa that, oh, if it has apple, it can't be, you know, all that, right? Okay, so we're gonna, that's perfect. So you're gonna throw in, um, you can just chop up one apple and we'll do it this way here. And about that big. Okay, we'll put some walnuts inside, mix up the vinaigrette. Um, okay, next question. Who, who's had cancer? Does anyone want to say that they have? You so get a prize. I'd give you my shoes, but I like them too much. Okay, come on, I'll give you a bag. <laughs> you, you don't, you've had cancer twice. You just, that nulls everything out. This is another reason why you eat healthy. Honestly, like my son the other day said to me, Mom, you know this, these green shakes that we have every day? There you go. Get, you're well now, everything's good? You look fantastic. My son said to me, Mom, um, when are we gonna stop having these green shakes? It's kind of getting old. And I reminded him that we come from a family where my father had colon cancer, my mom had lung cancer twice. My father-in-law has passed away from um, cancer and now my mother-in-law. And it's like, holy Toledo, like my kids, like the odds are not in their favor. So I said, without you guys freaking out that you're going to die of cancer, you're having these green shakes. And I started my kids very young with what they should be eating and, and why they're eating. And I think that kids, you know, um, if you, I think kids are picky eaters because we make them picky eaters. If you sort of make them at least try something, if they don't like it, spit it out, the chances are they end up liking it. So I think that if you have children, giving them healthy options that help them fight against cancer that's rampant out there right now, it's a good thing. How are you doing, good? Yeah. Okay. So the last thing we're gonna do with the vinaigrette is we're gonna add some olive oil. I'm gonna do a third of a cup of olive oil and a third of a cup of flax oil, mix it up and then I'm gonna feed you ladies as well. What's a great question I can do for like, oh yeah, no, not that big. See, this is, this is why I cook. I mean, I know you look good. You said cut no, it this no, big. I, no, I didn't say that. I said, okay, just stop it. Okay, just, just, no, not even that big. She said, just like this, and then she walked Well, no, away. I know, but I didn't, you're supposed to know exactly what I meant after I that, know. and then cut it again, whatever. That's fine. It's big chunks of apples. See, Jackie's, Jackie's recently divorced. I can say that, right? You just so if you have like a really cute brother, big catch, huge catch. So she um, got divorced about- She's got a lot to cook. I know. I know. That's the catch. <laughs> that is a big catch right there, isn't it? Um, did I give somebody an open bottle of flax oil? Check your flax oils. I probably did. <laughs> to me, that's kind of funny. I get, yeah, sorry about that. Can I have it back? Yeah, yeah, we'll switch. <laughs> get home, look at it, it's like half used. What a cheapo that Tammy Lynn is. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind of funny. Okay, so small chunks of apple inside the salad, but you'll get a big chunk this time. That's okay, that's okay, Jackie. So anyways, Jackie's, Jackie's single, and I always say that each show, because you just never know who's in the audience. And uh, not that she's looking, but I'm looking for her, so. But he's gotta be really nice, because her last one was a, uh, the pink stuff is salt. 
It's one thing I didn't mention. On top of the cookies, when they come out warm, I take a little bit of coarse sea salt. Um, at the last show I was at, there's a company called Salt Spring Salt Company, and it's this Frenchman from France, and he married this Canadian girl, and she just she even talks like this because she's married to a French guy. She's like, and we make this salt. She makes it sound so sexy. Well, this one is blackberry. Where's my glasses? Blackberry ginger, and so I've used that inside here as well. But I put a little bit of coarse sea. I love chocolate and salt. That's a big thing now, right? Caramel and salt, chocolate and salt. So I put little sprinkles of this on my cookies as well. This is amazing. Do you want it? Do you want it? I'm gonna give it to you. Where's, yeah, I'll give it to you. Didn't I give you an oil? Yeah, you don't get it then. Did you get something? Postman. Did you get it? Okay, catch, okay. I've only used a little bit of that. There you go. Okay. I need a spoon just to taste this because it tastes horrible. That wouldn't be good. Thanks, Jackie. Flax can be very, very strong. Um, and it's very strong. It can have a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. So if you blend it with another favorite oil, a walnut oil, an avocado oil, uh, a canola oil even, you're getting all the health benefits. You're getting some of the nutty sort of flaxy taste to it. Too much flax isn't a good thing. It really, really stands out. So that's perfect. Now I know that my salad's already very like nicely flavored because I've cooked it in the bouillon. We're gonna mix this together here. Oh, the apples look fantastic. They look, I mean, maybe that'll be the new way to do it, right? So. Nice chunky apples. No, I mean, whatever, it's food, right? It all tastes good. I love it looks, Jackie. It looks fabulous. Okay, so you're gonna finish mixing this. Okay. You can go down there and start uh, putting it into cups. You might wanna use this to put it in the cups. And I'm going to give away the last of the prizes. So listen, I hope that you, um, I'll hand out some cards as well. I hope that you go on to healthradio.fm, listen to some of our, our uh, stories that we talk about. I interview, who watches the Housewives of Beverly Hills? Yeah, you know um, Kyle's uh, mother-in-law? She had the facelift. Do you remember what I'm talking about? She's a sex therapist and psychiatrist. So I interviewed her on the radio show. What a hoot she is. Sex therapists are kind of, they're fun to interview, right? You guys are totally fun. Um, and I do sports celebrities. I do uh, doctors. We talk about women's health, men's health, health for children. So if you go on to that show, I'd appreciate it. And I'm also, I attend some of these trade shows to talk to women and talk about touching your boobies so that you don't have breast cancer. And and yeah, okay, so um, I have one, two, three, four, five more bags. What's a good question, Jackie? Oh, let's see. Who has a single brother? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Who has a single brother, 40 plus, that's eligible? Sing I mean, like, like eligible in that he can support her well. No? He's too old. Yeah, maybe we should shut off Jackie's mic for a bit. That is going to be you by that speaker. Do you want to maybe plate it up here? Um, okay, so who has, okay, who's got a, a brother in their 40s that maybe... Sorry. You're not going to ever get a date this way. You're totally well, interrupting. Obviously. Okay, so uh, you do? Is he cute? Has he got a good job? He's a, a lawyer? A logger? They make really good money. Okay, you get it back. <laughs> Inside the bag is my information. You can get a hold sure. of her through me. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, so, so you? So what does your brother do? He works for you. Are you like wealthy? Do you have a company? Like a good company? Okay, come on, helicopters, holy Toledo, come on. You get one. And, oh, okay, so you, and I love your hair. You got great hair. So you have a, an eligible brother? What does he do? He's partly retired? He's independently wealthy and retired? Okay, well, for sure, come on up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I want him to. Well, I'll keep my husband for a bit longer. Somebody once told me that therapy is cheaper than divorce, so I'm staying put. Uh, anybody else? 
you don't have a dad. Do you have a, who has a dad in their like fifties? Because you right. That. Oh, that's too, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. He'd have to be eating goji berries like all day. <laughs> It's, ex it's expensive habit. Okay, where was the lady that I gave the um, bag to that that said she had um, cancer? Okay, so I want to. I'm going to give you the gift basket. I know it's because you deserve it. Come on up. So in this basket, it's about a $200 basket, and uh, you deserve it. it. Has all kinds of really great stuff. This is from courtesy of Palm Market in Port Coquitlam. See? Oh, so please. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, I have to get one sec. I have to. Oh, it's my hips. One sec. <laughs> Thank you. you. Let's give her a big round of applause. Oh, you're gonna cry. Life, life is, life sucks. You know, you think that you're doing all the right things, and you go and get sick, right? It's like, gee, willikers. Okay, so you guys are all taken care of. You're taken care of. I said you would get one of these just for hanging out with your wife. What a good husband you are. My husband would like to do that, but I wouldn't let him. Did you guys get one? There you go. Two for you. And two more bags. Okay, what's another great question? I, that's a good one. I'm going to give one to my aunt, only because my other aunts, I really want to. My other aunts are, no, for real. Are any of them here? I run into once in a while. They're, yeah, I love, I, of course I love all my aunts, but this is my favorite aunt. She bought my first bra. She gave me her rabbit fur coat when I was 16. It was, it was my favorite coat. She always treated me... You know, like she acknowledged that I was like 12 when I was 12. Like you're just a great aunt. I love you to pieces. Okay, so that was a great question. Who is has traveled the farthest to get here? Oh no, no, I'm gonna take that question back. Sorry. I promised you, right? I did. I didn't see you there. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Sorry, guys. Yeah. See, good memory. It's all those goji berries I ate today. Fantastic. Well, ladies, thank you so much um, for. For joining me today. I appreciate that you came and sat down and joined Jackie and I. <sighs> that was a workout walking from there to there in these high heel shoes for crying out loud. So we're going to serve some food on the side. Um, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks ladies. Thank you. Whoever didn't get an oil, come and get an oil. Make sure you get some of this quinoa salad with awesome apple slices. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Uh, the recipes are on our website, and I'm going to grab some cards for you guys while you guys line up. Jackie, we'll get them to turn. Go ahead. I've got, a, I've got a spoon from over there. So thank I'll just, you. I'm going to put the cards right down here. Oh, thank you. You guys can just grab them from there. If I go down, it won't get back up. That's as far as I can go. There you go. You bet. You can go maybe a little bit less. Oh yeah, you have enough cups for us. Good. There you go. I have two spoons. Okay. Those apples were awesome. Right? Thank you. That's my new way of doing it. Go big or go home, I say. <laughs> yeah, you bet. You got a spoon? Here you go, my dear. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Hi there. There you go. Thank you. There you go. If you grab a card, you can get the recipes there. They're right by my feet, guys. That's great. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. I this. I want you to look at it. I will. How do we set you up on a date? Though? Yeah, we really want to set grab a, grab a card. Grab yeah, a card. Really you got it? No, yeah. I'm not joking either. Okay, good. She knows I'm not joking. <laughs> Thank you. She's embarrassingly not joking. Well, I know. What do you do? Thank you. What, three? Thank of course, you. yeah. Thanks. There you go. Thank you, hon. 